Hey, welcome back to the Guillemot Kayaks Workshop. I'm Nick Shada and I'm working on building kayak paddles. In this episode, I'll glass the blades and reinforce them. I do the glassing in a couple stage process. First, I glass the whole blade, then I add a little bit of reinforcement to the tips. And I do this in two steps so I don't get air trapped in between the glass. I found with a tight weave on the two ounce glass that it tends to trap air in between the layers. So doing it in a several stage process, I find I get less trapped air. So let's get to it. The uh, cut ends of the cord saturated in epoxy are hard and stiff and rough. I want to blend those down into the shape of the paddle blade. So I'm just going to use a sharp utility knife and just whittle those down. This gives you an idea of how tough this cord is. It's pretty tough stuff. Epoxy saturated nylon. I'm doing this while the epoxy is still fairly soft. It's the next day after wetting out this cord, so it's still fairly easy to carve. As the epoxy sets up harder and harder, this will be harder to do, so it's worthwhile doing this while the epoxy is still relatively soft. Just trying to blend those ends in a bit. This is a two ounce e-glass I'm using. I'll put one layer on each side over the whole blade and then those where I want them reinforced more, I will add some extra layers down at the tip. I'm making seven paddles here, so I need 28 pieces. So each one of these is two pieces. This will be the extra for the tip. This edge has a selvaged edge on it. Basically the loose threads are sewn off so they don't come unraveling. Um, and I'll end up putting those up at the um, throat end of the blade just to have a cleaner edge where the glass ends where it gets onto the shaft. I'm applying a little epoxy with uh, cabosil in it to thicken it up around the edge because the transition between that cord and the wood sometimes there's a little gap there and I just want something that's going to naturally flow in there and uh, fill that up and stay there so I don't get bubbles. So I'm just applying it around the edge and I'll squeegee it around. Do it on both sides. So now when I put the glass on, that uh, cabosil will fill up any gaps that are there. The trickiest part of the glassing here is right here around the throat where it uh, goes in deeply. I 
this uh, two ounce glass doesn't really like to conform to shapes as well as the four ounce. It does okay with most of the shape on these paddles, but uh, doesn't work so well on a boat because the shape of a boat is just too much contour going on. It won't, this two ounce glass won't conform to it. So I'll just put a little bit on enough to hopefully get the whole thing wet out. Spots that might need a little bit more. And I'll take and trim off the excess glass. and hit it with the heat gun to uh, get the bubbles out. This, again, this two ounce cloth uh, doesn't like giving up the trapped air in it either. So a little bit of heat gun to lower the viscosity of the resin. Up in here, it wants to bridge. So I'll squeegee off most of the excess into the grunge cup, and then I'm going to sort of soak up the excess, remaining excess with a paper towel. This is a very poor man's vacuum bagging, just sponging up any excess. Make sure it's down into that contour. Flip it over to the other side. Takes a little while for this resin to soak into the cloth. So I heat it up and give the whole thing, the whole face, the coating of epoxy. The heat lowers the viscosity of the epoxy and then spreading it over the whole thing will make it so I don't have as noticeable an edge between the part that I'm actually working on right now and the rest of the blade. 
is starting to fill a weave out here on the rest of the blade. And I take my triangle of glass, lay it down across here, and if I need a little bit more epoxy, I'll put that on. A little bit more heat to get that to wet out. Trim off the excess glass. Squeegee off the excess resin. Give it a little inspection, see how it looks. So while I still have the feathered paddles split in half, not yet glued together into full length paddles, I'm going to do a fill coat on the blade. It's just easier to get the paddle in a position where it will dry without drips while I have it separated. So I can turn it up on edge and then any drips will tend to sheet off and it should be a smoother finish when I'm done. I'm using um, a little bit different epoxy this time. It levels out best with the blowtorch as opposed to using the heat gun. So you'll see me using the blowtorch on it. So that's it for this episode. In the next episode, I'll be finishing the paddles. It might take me a little while to get the next episode out. It's cold out and I want to do the finish work outside. I'm going to be putting on a spray clear coat, um, automotive style clear coat. And I'd rather not do that inside if I can avoid it. And being cold outside and kind of windy, I'm waiting for a good day when I can go out and get that clear coat applied. So thanks for your patience. If it takes a little while, that's what's going on. In the meantime, I've started building a petrol. Uh, right now it's all stripped up and I just stained it and I'm about ready to glass. If you want to keep abreast of what I'm doing in more real time, I have an Instagram and Facebook page and I tend to post stuff there a little bit more frequently, just updates on what's going on. If you like the looks of this kayak paddle project and would like to do your own, it's a really fun project and I do sell plans. I'll provide a link in the description to my web page where you can purchase the plans. It's a fun project. You can knock it off in a couple weekends and have yourself a really beautiful paddle. Sales of plans is one of the ways I support producing these videos. If you'd like to support the production of these videos, you can buy plans or you can just like the video, share it with your friends. Um, get on to Facebook or Instagram and follow my pages there. Anything like that is, really does support the process of making these videos and any support you can provide is really appreciated. If you're really into it, I do have a Patreon page and you can go over there and provide a little monetary support. Any kind of support is greatly appreciated. So until the next episode, thanks for watching and happy paddling.